Alright boys, so we're gonna go over add-ons. So if you don't know where to put your add-ons, really easy. Your Elder Scrolls Online folder should be in your documents. You can click there. Of course, you're gonna wanna go to live and you're gonna wanna put your add-ons that you download in the add-ons folder. These are all the add-ons we have. Now this may look confusing, but trust me, it's pretty simple. Here it is, esoui.com. Here's one of our add-ons, awesome guild store. So we're gonna look that up real quick. Hopefully, we find it. Damn, there it is. Awesome guild story. You hit download, right? It should pop up down here. Okay, I'm sorry you guys didn't see that, but it should pop up down here. And you just click it. And you get this folder. And then you just, you know, put it in the add-ons folder. And you literally just drag, done. That's it. First step complete. Now you have your add-ons. Now if you downloaded these add-ons when you were in the game, you're gonna just wanna reload and buy. So these are the add-ons I used, right? We've got Awesome Guild Sir, Azura, CLS, FTC, Inventory Insight. All these add-ons don't need to be optimized, but some of them do. So I usually start with Azura. This is your UI changer. And what I usually do is I lower the target health and we are going to move our ftc bar so we're going to put the synergy and shit up here because you know we don't want that running in the way all right um we don't see it right now because one of our add-ons is fucking with us which is ftc so we're going to have to disable a lot of these things so okay now that's disabled we're going to disable our next one enable damage statistics we're going to keep that on Advanced hot bar, add ultimate and potion information. We don't need that. Player frame. Okay, we're gonna unlock this. This is gonna look really nice in the end, guys. All right, trust me. Trust me on this one. Okay, buff tracking. We are using a different buff tracker, guys. We are using Strendars, so we're gonna disable that. All right. Okay, so now FTC is looking pretty nice, right? We got it in a good spot. There's some things we can disable though. We don't need, for instance, we do not need our nameplate. We do not need our experience bar. And we don't really need our level either, so. Wait, no, no, it says, it says target frame levels. Yes, you want that on, honestly. Let's work on CLS. This is pretty easy, all right? This is our combat log statistics. Now, if you're ever wondering what the hell this is, it looks really confusing. It's basically what the hell you got hit with, how you died, and basically an accurate representation of what you got killed by. Death recaps are bullshit. They definitely don't tell you what. I've been hit with like Viper and Red Mount, and it says like I got hit with like one Dawnbreaker. I'm like, no, 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 no. I literally just got procked up the ass. So basically you just want to disable all this bullshit. Just disable all this bullshit with me. And you're going to want to keep everything but damage. And then to make it more neat, you're going to put it in its own chat. Display. We got, we got, we got Niat's PVP alerts. Okay, so this looks really confusing, but this is the add-on that literally is broken. This should not be in the game. But yeah, we're gonna put this right here. Whenever a frag comes, whenever a snipe is about to bit, whenever a snipe is about to get released from the bow, from like that one pesky ass ganker, you'll know that it's coming before it even gets freaking released. Frags, dizzy swings, anything. That's a projectile or a CC like dizzy swing. And we're gonna we're gonna disable some things. So notify on incoming attacks. Yeah, we want that. Player counter future. We don't need that. We don't need a feed, we don't need the attacker's name, we don't need any of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can make it smaller if you'd like. I like it at like 85, that's pretty good. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to do. Okay, Omni stats. Now, you guys probably are like, what the fuck do you need this for? 
it's gonna show all your stats basically, so everything from your character sheet. If you're playing with a Fury build, um, you're using glyphs that give you more weapon or spell damage, or you're giving any set that procs damage or some type of stat. You may want to keep track of this while you're PvPing. So, basically for the Fury builds or anything where you're uh, like progressively getting damage when you take damage. I use this basically just to keep track of my damage and when the time I'm burst. Right? So we got this little box that just tells exactly how much spell damage and weapon damage we have at a time. As you see, if I use a pot, that will go up. If I light attack zone with my back bar, since I have a glyph on, it will also go up. See, now you don't see it right now, so we're going to have to change it so it displays in combat. Always. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can get this better. So that's pretty good. You can put this down here. That's a good place. You can put it wherever you want, really. Um, you know, you can make it a little bit bigger if you'd like as well. Um, for instance, like that. You can make it see through or whatever, whatever, however you can see it. Expert Miller, I don't even know what that is, but we're gonna put that up there. It's part of me as add a PP alert. So let me just disable it. All right, there we go. Okay, next up is Srendars. This is probably gonna be the hardest one to configure, guys, but stick with me. This is the most important one. A lot of you guys may be at a disadvantage because you have no idea what the hell is popping up on your screen. This is for like console and PS4 players. I'm sorry you can't delete certain buffs, but you really don't need all that shit on your screen. It's so hard to see what the hell's going on. Like you put one damn buff and like eight things come up. You pop one damn potion and like 15 damn buffs come up. And you're like, what the hell is what? How am I supposed to know what the hell I'm supposed to keep track of? This is the fucking add-on where you keep everything in a line. All right, so. This looks confusing, right? It's not. So we have a cast bar. We don't even really need this. We can put this up here. Sure, it's a little, little um, cosmetic thing. You'll know when you, um, you know, when you dark deal. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this stuff, these buffs, your long buffs, they can. You don't really need to keep track of them. It's like your vamp, your major sorcery, all this stuff. We're gonna change the way this looks, and we're gonna put it above our health bar right in front of our eyes so you can see them really well. Our debuffs, hell yeah, we wanna fucking keep track of our debuffs. You can prevent so many deaths if you know what time that curse is gonna explode or when you have a healing debuff on you to purify or when you just need to know to back off because you have some terrible nasty debuff on you. This other stuff targets buffs. Where's the target? Your ground targets? Yeah, sure, we'll put our ground targets here. This is like our cow chops, our, our channel focus, you know? Okay, so we got our target debuffs. Oh, these these are just extras. We don't need to worry about these numbers. Target buffs go at the top, debuffs go at the bottom. That's how I like it. Your short buffs are right here. So we're gonna optimize those first. They're gonna be the add-ons that you always look at so you know exactly how long your vigor is, how long your shields are up for, your buffs, basically all your buffs, your major sorcery buff, your major resolve, major ward, things like that pretty much. Things you need to keep track of. So we want the icons only. I hope you got just try to memorize the icons, they're not really hard to so we're gonna do icon only in the right. See, and now they're gonna be like little squares and they're gonna be heading that way, right? So we can make them a little bit tinier, adjust them to however big you want. Um, I think 85 is a good amount. So that's gonna make the squares a little bit smaller. And the aura growth padding, this will basically be like how close they are together, I'm pretty sure. So it's negative 11, then they're really like, they're like overlap. Probably, if you want them like with a little space, negative five is probably perfect. Okay, um, how do you want them to be ordered? Remaining time ascending. I usually do. Yeah, remaining a time. That's probably that's probably the best. Like whatever has the most 
time is getting up to that. So you all you can, however, you want to keep track of that. You know? Okay. You want the timer text location to be over the icon. Okay, good. I don't know how big these are yet. Like, it shows an example, see? Okay, these have these ugly ass green things on them. I don't like that. Like, those are timer animations. I honestly can keep track of things like that, and I'll just look at the numbers instead. Just play with it, guys. Just play with it. Okay, your debuffs. So you can have these however you want. I usually have them in the form like this, so I can see what they're called. Because I don't know what all the debuffs look like nowadays. But we're going to tone this down a little bit. We're going to do, okay, we're going to do full display. And we're going to make sure this is going upwards. And yeah. Besides that, I think that's all we really need to know. So those are our debuffs. Our debuffs are going to be displayed on the right. So this is basically our major to file. Magic Assort curses on us. Atmos Fury. Poisons. We can see it all here. So for a Templar, we know we need to purify because that's a debuff you definitely don't want. Or something that's definitely going to kill you. You are prepared. All you got to do is glance down right there. Put up whatever you want. Optimize it however you like. You can mess around with everything. It's pretty easy. Four, that's our ground target. So we're just going to mimic. We're going to put down to 85. We're going to make sure it goes up. And we'll just put it right here. Target buffs. Okay. This is our target buffs. We're going to make it icon only. And basically, that's going to show your enemies like rally, pot things like that. Debuffs is kind of the same thing. We're going to do icon, and we're going to make it right. And now we're going to move these. Alright, so we can make them a little bit smaller later, but let's just make sure that they're kind of, you know, we can make them a little bit like that. But yeah, we can optimize them a little bit. I honestly don't like how they're green, so you can just turn all that shit off. You don't need to turn so. Now look what happens when we put all our buffs up. You're just like, whoa, okay, what the fuck's going on? Too much, like, what is what, right? What is what? First of all, I can barely see the timers because it's an ugly ass run. Don't worry about it, we'll optimize that later, that's not important. But we're like, what is going on? So this is how you're gonna figure out how to fucking get rid of all this stuff. So, let's start at one thing at a time. Boundless Storm gives several buffs. It gives Major Expedition for seven seconds. It gives Major Resolve, Major Reward, and it has its own icon too. Not every defensive buff skill like this, like a skill that has major rewards, major resolve, so like Hurricane, Balanced Storm, Volatile, Hardened Armor, Time of Focus, Return of Focus, things like those will not always have an icon like this. Having an icon like that is more beneficial because you actually know what the hell this is. Balanced Storm. Like these things are new, major war, major resolve. I recognize a defensive buff by yellow or the icon. So, however you're more comfortable. So, we're gonna get rid of major awards since we only need one to show. We don't need two of the same buff to show the same thing. So, we're gonna get rid of major award. And now, how you do that is you go to the add on, you go to filters, and you're simply just gonna type major award. You click off to the right here, your thing will freeze for a second, and in about 3, 2, 1, voila, it's gone. Now, you won't have this blue buff up in your grill. Now, you'll only have the yellow one and the purple one. This thing thought it can sneak his way through. We don't need to see that. Get out of here, Mind Prophecy. Get rid of all the buffs you don't want to see because you know they're there. You don't need to know that you have that grid, right? Sorry, console players, but you can't blacklist things like us, but... This is how you organize your add-ons, guys. We have a couple more add-ons to go through. They're not really PvP oriented, but they're pretty easy. You download them like Master Merchant. That's gonna show you like how much things are going for, so you know when to sell things to over or under, or if you're buying something for a good deal. Inventory Insights can show you what the hell you have on your characters. For instance, where's my Maelstrom 2 man? I'm gonna type that in, and I'm gonna find it on my Warden. My, yeah, my warden. Or this is all my sword. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty much you just need to log on all your characters. You need to go to your controls and you'll find it. Inventory insight. Toggle it to something and you know you can just pull it up.
out whenever you want. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, dude. Those are my add-ons, guys. A pretty cool updated video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. All right, cool, guys. We just cranked.